Welcome to the Strauss Speeds video series. I'm Dale Bakke, Technical Service Director for Strauss Speeds. This is part two of our series on refractometers. This video will address how to use a refractometer. First thing to ensure is that the unit is standardized. You want to take, I'm going to use the digital unit here. I've got three different units here, uh, two analog and one digital. I'm going to just do the digital because it's a little quicker. Uh, you want to make sure the lens is clean. So if you have a unit and you don't know the status on it, uh, I'm going to use my little pipette here, take a little sample, put a couple drops on there, and dry this off quickly. Make sure it's clean, like so. And now I'm going to use some more, and again, it's distilled water. If you want to make sure you use distilled water, don't use hard water. The minerals will interfere. Put it on the screen here, about two, three, maybe I got four drops in there. Got a little extra. I try to avoid screwing it back into the gallon so I don't contaminate that. But I have a dirty pipette. Turn the unit on. This one is a MISCO unit. Just press the go button here. You can see it's booting up. I'm going to slide the menu over to set zero. And seeing how I tipped it, yeah, I'm still okay. It's still enough water in there. It's on the lens. Uh, set zero when I hit go, and it's reading it. It's going to tell me shortly if it's calibrated or not. There we go. It's calibrated. It's all ready to go. So we want to dry it off. We have distilled water only in there, so we know the lens is clean. I'm using a clean tissue again to dry this off. On the analog unit, it's a similar practice. You're gonna take the analog, slide it up. Again, we wanna make sure the lens is clean. Put a little distilled water on the lens. Drop this back down on the cover. Make sure we have full contact with both surfaces here, which is important on this unit. And again, use my, actually I'm going to grab a clean tissue, uh, wipe the surface dry, make sure it's dry and clean. And then we are ready to put another drop of water on the unit. It only takes a drop, it doesn't take much on these analog units. It spreads it out when we put the cover down. Drop the cover. And I want to take a light source, a bright light source, and I'm going to look into the optics. So you can see, looking into the unit on the optical eye, where it is. And on the zero scale, I want to make sure that the zeros on the bottom align with the unit and what it's reading. And we're in good shape on this unit. So we're ready to go. A similar process here. Uh, Slide it open. We know we have just distilled water. This time I just have to clean it off. I actually had a milk sample or a colostrum sample on here. I want to make sure I dry it off first and then use distilled water to clean that surface before I do another measurement. So I ensure that it doesn't interfere with that. Okay, now let's, uh, we're ready to test some milk solids. You can use the unit as we discussed in part one. For measuring total proteins, we can use it for measuring our bricks, and we can use it for measuring our milk solids. I'm just going to do a quick example here on the digital unit. Again, it's all set up. We know we have the surface clean from earlier. I'm going to use I have a sample of milk here. One thing with milk is make sure you either shake it or have agitation on your tank before you pull a sample out, because that unit. Uh, milk itself is going to separate, especially if you have waste milk. Uh, the fat's going to rise to the surface and you're going to end up with more of the protein on the bottom. You will not get an accurate count. On the MISCO, we need to put about three drops so we make sure we cover the lens well. I've got a clean dropper here so I'm just going to close this. And again, it's sitting on the unit. Close the eye. Oh, it shut off on me. I'll turn it on again. And press the menu button. 
I can do the bricks on this unit. Uh, it also does milk solids. Seeing how we want to do a milk solid, I want to make it easy. And it's on there, it's ready to go. So I just press go again. It says it's ready to measure it. I press it a third time and it's doing a reading. And I'm going to set the unit down so it's stable. And I have my first reading of 13.9. And I'm going to jot that down on my paper here. The unit itself has been stored at room temperature. This milk in this situation is cold. Uh, I may not get a real accurate temperature. It's supposed to have a, a temperature compensation built into these units. But what I find, it's a lot more repeatable. The results are a lot more repeatable if you try to wait a few seconds after you put, I'd say probably about 30, 40 seconds, after you put the sample on the lens to let the temperature equivalent to what the unit is, you're gonna find the results to be much more consistent. I just want to measure this again, so if I press the go button again, it takes me back to the reading menu. And this time I got a 14.0. If you have milk, waste milk that's just come out of a pasteurizer, for example, that milk may be very hot. Uh, you want to make sure the temperature cools down again to close to room temperature, so it's close to the same temperature as the unit. And I'm going to do a third reading here, and my third reading is 13.9. So very consistent on this unit in terms of my ability to, the unit's ability to reproduce the numbers and get very similar results. So this is using the digital unit. We're done. I'm going to dry the milk off here a little bit. And before the unit dries, I'm going to put a couple drops of distilled water on there again, just so my lens doesn't get a crust on it at all or any mineral buildup. And dry that one more time. And this unit is all ready for the next sample. To do this with an analog unit, actually I'm going to use the red one here today. Uh, flip the lens open. There's a couple different styles here. I could actually put a drop on the top here and let it wick down. I can also just put one drop on, on the unit. I did wash this with the distilled water before when we did the calibration. We know it's standardized. I'll put one drop of milk in here. I'm just gonna drop it right on the top of the lens here. And then you can watch it. Hopefully you can see that. You can see it just kind of wick down through there. Again, I suggest you wait about 30 seconds to 40 seconds. It gives you a good idea on the temperature will equivalent to where the unit's at. So you don't want to just, again, pull it out of the pasteurizer and put it on the unit, or we may not end up with a very accurate number. So I'm going to look through here. It's about 12.2. So I've got about a 12.2 reading on this. Now, that sounds much lower than what we had on the other unit. This is an analog unit. We're measuring the bricks this time. We're not measuring the milk solids. That one was measuring the milk solids. So to get the milk solids with a unit like this, I need to add about 1.5 to what we're getting. Uh, 1.5 is what you find in the text and different studies that have been done when you're looking at an analog unit. If you're using a digital unit, and it's going to vary a little bit on the unit, the key is just make sure you do it consistently. It's about a one point difference on the digital between the milk solids and the bricks. I'm going to try to qu quickly wipe this off. Put a drop on here, a couple drops on here. Oops, I'm going to go back in my jug. I want to keep that clean. We're going to wipe that lens off. And again, at farm level, I suggest you do, if you want a real accurate number, and again, make sure that milk's stirred up before you pull the milk sample. In this case, I shook it well before I pulled it. Close the lens. Let it slide through. If that temperature is way different than what my unit is, give it the 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Look in the eye again, I want to look at a bright light. And I've got a reading of about 
four of cut it at this time. So that's about as accurate as I'm going to be here. So 12.4. Again, open the unit, clean off the bottom lens, clean off the top lens, pull some DI water, distilled water, you can use RO water if you have that, but do not use tap water. Dry my lens, and I'm ready for the next reading. Thanks for watching our Strauss Reads video. We appreciate it greatly. Be sure to subscribe and never miss a future video.